Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I have a YouTuber coming over, Bonsai J. You can check out his channel, I'll put the link in the description below. He's coming over today and we're going to be doing lots of bonsai work. I'm going to begin today by doing some work in my ficus microcarpa. This is one of the ficus sisters and this one is called fancy because it has all these fancy trunks. I've been letting this tree grow as much as possible this summer and the temperatures are starting to cool off at night now so the growth on the ficus is slowing down. So I'm going to defoliate it today and give it a pruning and get it ready for the show. So I'll have to show it without any leaves but that'll be fine. I was growing this tree in the greenhouse this year to try and develop more fine roots coming out of the root base and it worked quite well. I got a lot of new roots growing in in between all the other roots and just kind of filling out the root base and making it even better looking. I'll begin to defoliate the tree now. So here I go. There's the big eyes looking at you. You see the big eye? Don't pick it. Hey, hi Giselle. How are you? Hey, hi. When I first bought this tree, it was in a pot this size. It was a little ficus and it was from a big box store. And it's just been growing every year since. I think the tree is getting close to about 20 years old now. Today, I will be reducing it in size quite a bit. I've been letting all this top of the tree grow and today I'll be cutting it back quite small and then regrowing it again. That'll give me lots of movement in the branches. It'll give me taper in the branches so they, you know, they're thick down below and they get finer and finer as you get to the top of the canopy. I've noticed that there's a few leaves on here that have some scale insects on them. Here's one right here. Remove that, if you can see that. A little bit of a scale insect on it. So it's a good thing I'm defoliating it. I can uh, give it a good spray with soap and water and get all these scale insects killed before I bring the tree in for the winter. The leaves are a little curled because I had it in the greenhouse and it's really hot in there and it kind of stresses the plant out a bit. Um, I've had it outside in the last kind of week or so and I've noticed there's a bit of new growth coming in and it looks really really good. Nice and green and healthy. Yeah the greenhouse it's good for aerial roots but at the top of the tree you can see here's a leaf here that's kind of got yellow in the middle and that's just from the heat. Some of the lower branches, which are shaded more, are a nice deep green color. Yeah, so it just depends where the leaf's located and how much heat it gets. When you see a trunk on a ficus like this, I get a lot of people ask me, is this one tree or is it many trees fused together? And this is just one tree. It started off as a single trunk and it grew branches and from those branches, aerial roots drop and it gives that kind of fused trunk appearance but it is just one tree growing from a single trunk. I have seven days before our club show and I've got about 24 trees to get ready. So it's gonna be a very busy week this week. I'll be doing lots of bonsai work and probably making lots of bonsai videos. Hi Giselle, how are you? It may look a little strange showing a tropical tree in a show without any leaves, but this is what happens to tropical trees in uh, hurricanes and that. It strips all the leaves off the tree and that, you know, lightens the load on the top of the tree so the tree isn't uprooted in a storm. So instead of, you know, tipping the tree over, it just strips all the leaves off the tree and then the wind blows through it. So it's quite a natural appearance. It happens quite often, especially in Florida and that, where they get a lot of hurricanes coming inland. It also allows me to get the most growth possible in the summer. So I'm not defoliating the tree. 
halfway through the summer and losing a lot of growing time. My objective this summer was to thicken up these branches coming up and it's working well. They are getting thicker. It's looking much better. I didn't want this tree to look like you know a tree with a massive root base and then just little skinny trunks up here so that's the reason I'm thickening them to kind of balance that you know the heavy root base on it. What kind of tree is this Jay? Oh, it's a lemon cypress. Lemon cypress, wow. Yep. Beautiful smelling tree, eh? Yeah, that's for sure. I haven't, uh, yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't smelt it in quite a while, actually, since they were, since they were younger, because, uh, yeah. when I actually cut these off as, as cuttings from the original tree that I purchased a couple that's years ago. how well they've grown, eh, as cuttings? Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, I was, uh, I guess I consider myself lucky that I was able to get them going as cuttings yeah or start them from cuttings I guess yep. you'll okay. see in nature when you get a twin trunk tree it's not bare on the inside but they have little short kind of branches weak branches because they don't get much light oh yeah but it's usually there are some green inside between the trunks hmm. we uh, had a lot of swallowtail caterpillars this year in my wife's greenhouse oh is that right and really exciting because there was on the what they were eating the dill and the one plant had like six of them on and they were fairly big and then they started disappearing so I think they're I don't know if they formed chrysalids or cocoons or whatever they were doing but they all disappeared so hmm. well yeah so that's I really neat we'll get a lot of swallowtails around here I'll have to plant more dill too to attract them because they're really nice butterflies yeah yeah we've been trying to attract the uh, more hummingbirds this year oh yeah so yeah I get them around so, here occasionally Oh, yeah. It always scares me because they go by and I think it's a big bee or something. Yeah. And then I realize, oh, it's a hummingbird. <laughs> it's very scary. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. They scare me quite a bit too, actually. Yeah. But just like you say, you know, you think it's a big bee or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't expect them to go by, do you? Yeah. Yeah, we've been planting more wild flowers. Oh, yeah. Just, That's uh, cool. we can just plant the seeds and then, you know, just, uh, number of different ones grow poppies and all kinds of different things oh, yeah. different daisies and stuff and well you know what's really good these golden rods here see them flowering now they just oh, yeah. get covered in all kinds of like the the natural bees the uh, native bees and uh, hmm. all kinds of stuff on those it's just amazing how much yeah you attract you, yeah there's a number of them there yeah i kind of leave that clump there just for the butterflies and bees and yeah that's a good idea and they're native, easy to grow. I've done that sometimes I'm making a video and it's a hot day like this and you get the video done and then you realize all your trees <laughs> are dried out. Yeah, you gotta stop and take care of them. And Yeah. 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 And you have a lot of them. Yeah. Some would say too many. <laughs> <laughs> Some would say not enough. Some people. <laughs> <laughs> Name Laura would say too many, right, Laura? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So with this lemon cypress here, it's uh, it's much harder for me to do uh, first styling on something like this that's so full and you know, well, we got hundreds of branches and multi trunks, lots of stuff to work with. I just need to. Uh, get up my other two trees and do the same thing and also they'll uh, they'll fit all my shelves a lot better in the winter time too here's the lemon cypress pruned up at the end of the day looking much more tree like got that triangular silhouette shortening all the branches and cleaning up the structure we pulled the tree out of the pot and it looks like the roots are filling up in the pot nicely but it doesn't need repotting yet so that's probably gonna happen in spring so looking really good. So we're just cutting okay. the pot, cutting the screen to fit the bottom of the pot. That's an excellent idea. There we go. All right, this round that corner off. I just want to make sure it's going to yeah fit, in fit in inside when I turn it around. That's really cool. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, 
yeah, some cool. custom fit, eh? That's yeah. amazing. That looks awesome. That's a great <laughs> idea. Yeah, we ended up getting the small ones there too, so it's like... Yeah. It was really nice having Bonsai Jay and his daughter down for the day yesterday. We worked on trees all day and had a lot of fun. Bonsai Jay's daughter and I worked defoliating the ficus yesterday and now it's ready for pruning. So I'm looking at the tree and I want to prune the height down but I don't want it to look too symmetrical so the I don't want it looking like an hourglass where the top structure matches the bottom exactly. I want to leave a little more height in the top so I'm thinking of pruning the height probably down to about here. I think that'll look quite good. All right, I'll start with the first cuts and I want to pick the height of the tree, so the top of the apex. And I think it'll be right about, right about here. So here I go. From that first branch I pruned, I will then round the canopy down. So we'll take our second cut to about here. Like that. And I'll keep just kind of pruning that round shape. I think I can start on the edge here. About maybe here. Here. Doing a profile prune to get my rounded canopy. And then, once I've completed that, I'll come in and look at the structure of the branches, and I may have to do some thinning and get rid of some of the branches that are crossing and, you know, branches that need removal. So over on this side, I'm going to start the pruning here, here. It does remove some of the ramification, but uh, you got to do these hard prunings every once in a while or the tree just gets huge and these branches start looking really long without any kind of taper to them. Uh, the shorter I prune this tree, the beefier these multi-trunks look. If you leave them long and skinny, they just look more insignificant. So, yeah, it's good to hard prune these trees back every now and then. Now the question is, will this look okay for the bonsai show? Maybe not. Um, I'll have to see. It's just something I have to do because this tree was getting huge. I was no way I'd be able to fit all my trees in the plant room this winter if it was this height. So I'll have to do some refining to the shape once I step back and have a look at it all. Okay, now it's got the basic branch structure pruned back now. Here's a look at the tree now with a black background. You can see the profile prune. Eh, it's a little uneven. I uh, think I'll have to fix up a few spots. So I'm just cleaning it up to get that rounded canopy, checking the profile. That's looking better. I'll rotate the tree around so you can see the profile of the canopy from the front view and the side view and the back view and that, just so you can see it 360 degrees. So here I go. and back to the front. My next step for the tree 
will be to look down at the tree from above and I'll need to clean up the branch structure so any branches that are crossing like see this one how it crosses in front of these two trunks here so something's got to be done about that branch um, there's one here that kind of crosses in front of these trunks um, there's a minor one here that could be pruned, pruned away from crossing in front of these trunks and things like that just some you know some minor corrections there's a dead branch in there there's a whole dead branch there that just got shaded out another one there so some cleanup to the branch structure when looking down from above I'll begin to prune the upper structure getting rid of all those crossing branches so here I go Here's a look at the tree now, all pruned up. I'm very happy with the design, how it's going. The styling of the canopy is proceeding. It's, uh, yeah, I, I'm very happy with the overall styling of the tree. I, I'm very glad that I left all those multi trunks at the top. And I think the clip and grow is uh, really bringing out the natural character of the tree. Yeah, I can't wait for it to get leaves again and more branching and I think it'll just continue to improve in the future this tree. Your pockets are filled with soil. Nice dry soil that flows around the roots really well. He's nice and firm in there. Okay, I think we can water the tree now. Okay, here we go with the water. You can see it has no troubles draining. It was really nice to have Bonsai Jay and his daughter down yesterday for a visit. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>